Hey guys, welcome back to Gunshots. This week I'm doing a comparison video, the first of what I hope to be many um, comparisons between so two guns that are fighting it out for your money. Um, the first one up is of course probably the two most popular guns in the country, the Beretta 686 Silver Pigeon 1 and the Browning um, 525 Sporter 1. The Browning is 14.85 and the Beretta is 15.95, so a little bit of difference in price. Um, let's start out by discussing what's the same between these two guns. Okay, so both guns are a shade under eight pounds, uh, 30 inch barrels, um, although they are uh, available in shorter and longer barrel configurations. Both guns are multi-choke, um, both guns Schnabel four ends, they're very, um, very basic grade of wood on these guns. Um, the Beretta has a 14 and 7 eighths length of pull and the Browning at 15. But other than that, they're very, very similar in configuration. Um, where the differences appear are in how these guns joint um, and some other minor differences in the, um, uh, the rib, etc., uh, which I'll talk about now. Okay, so the Beretta, we've got a 10 to 7 mil tapered uh, top rib ventilated with a white front bead, no tram line. Um, and the action is quite different. The action profile on Berettas is quite low um, and the way that they joint, um, this obviously has trunnions with cutouts in the monoblock, um, which results in a low action profile and a more uh, svelte feeling gun, I'm gonna say. Um, neither gun has a palm swell um, and both have quite a sort of a sporting configuration, nice and quick to the shoulder and very, very easy to swing. It's really one of those things, you've got to handle them to, uh, to feel the difference. Some of the details on the Beretta are really nice, the way that the, um, the forend latch is inlet and all the rest of it. Um, and the wood to metal fit on both of these guns is excellent. It's worth mentioning actually that both of these guns are, obviously they're going to, you're going to be paying more for one of these than for instance an ATA or a Yildit or whatever. Um, but the quality and uh, the look at the depth of the bluing, the way the, the barrels are struck off, um, both are absolutely superb value for money. They're, they're going to last you a lifetime and you can feel straight away the quality in them when you pick them up. Uh, the Browning, okay so we've got a um, 10 to 7 taper again but it has um, a mid bead and a tram line. Now your preference here may vary, it is literally a case of what you prefer. I think you'll know as soon as you mount one whether you fancy the idea of having that mid bead um, to check your mount. Uh, and the tram line to draw your eye. Um, another big difference, we've got an adjustable trigger on the Browning, but you do not get on the uh, Beretta. And then the biggest difference of all, I think, and the most important one, uh, the Browning has um, a action based on the superposed, so we've got tall, thin action fences and uh, a full length pin that the gun joints around. In practice, you're not really going to be able to tell, I mean, when you open and close on the gun, although they have quite a different sound, um, the lockup on these guns is both very strong and both will last a lifetime. Um, but the, the Browning has a slightly more mechanical feel to it, which you can hear. Um, and it is just a bit more chunky. That tall action um, and the gun just feels a bit more chunky in the hand. Um, I think you can tell straight away. Now. The problem I've got, or the problem you're going to have, is I can pick these two guns up and know straight away which one I'm going to prefer, which one I want to shoot. Um, you're not going to know that. You're going to pick the two up and think, I don't know. The best thing you can do is go to a shooting school and try both. Um, honestly, try both guns and shoot the one you love. Shoot the one that, that, that fits you better, that feels better in the shot, um, and you will, I think, be able to tell the difference. I prefer the Browning. Um, just simply because of the way it mounts, the way it feels. I'm not a huge fan of the 686 because I find it a bit too light and svelte. Even though it's actually the same weight, it's just the way the gun feels in the shoulder. Um, in terms of quality differences, as I said, you get an adjustable trigger. Both guns come cased, both guns are multi-choke. Um, adjustable trigger on the Browning. Swings and roundabouts, the, I think the engraving on the Browning looks nicer, although um, the wood and the quality of the checkering I think is slightly worse. The, um, I think the overall presentation, maybe the Beretta, maybe has a slight edge. The, uh, the engraving is really nicely done. It's all laser cut, looks really well. Um, but as I said, the, the, that chief difference is just the way these two guns feel at the shoulder. And I think it's immediately obvious when you pick the two up, um, how the handle is just ever so slightly different. Um, that's about it. I mean, 
as I said, there is really no winner here. There is no better or worse gun. I think the Browning is ever so slightly better value for money. It's 100 pounds cheaper, adjustable trigger, um, but it's, it's really what you prefer. Um, unfortunately, there is no decisive winner here. They're not, um, I'm not gonna suddenly describe the um, one as significantly better than the other. It is really down to what you prefer. Shoot them both, buy the one you love. All right, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Please do tune in for future episodes. Give me a subscribe if you, uh, if you do enjoy the show. Um, drop me a like. Follow me on Instagram, it's at LloydyP. And of course, the channel is supported by Barrel Shooting Ground and Hull Cartridge, the confidence to win. See you next time.